Narcissists always do this at the end of a relationship. There is something that every narcissist will do at the end of a relationship. And this could be a way to identify whether or not you were dealing with a narcissist. Because they all do it. They have to do it. Because they think that it benefits them. They think that it is the most favorable thing for them to do. In any relationship, you might experience problems and difficulties. You might experience arguments and disagreements. This is normal. But in narcissistic relationships, these situations are dealt with differently. In a healthy relationship, both people will take responsibility. They will hold themselves accountable for their actions. They will recognize what they did wrong. And they will own up to it. Because they want to improve their relationship. They want things to be better. But narcissists do not hold themselves accountable. Because they can't deal with the shame. And they don't want to deal with the consequences of their actions. So at the end of a relationship, the narcissist will always blame the other person. This is something they all do. When you first meet them, it's like you can't do anything wrong. Even if you do make a fault or mistake, they will overlook it or they will minimize it. They will act like it wasn't a big deal because at that stage of the relationship, they are idealizing you. You are a reflection of their false self. So they see you as being perfect. But in any relationship, problems and difficulties will arise. There will be arguments and disagreements. And this threatens to expose the narcissist's false image, which is why they get very angry. Because in that moment, they feel like their false self is dying. It's like they're in a life or death situation. They feel like they're in a fight for their lives. So they will do whatever it takes to protect their false self. Even if they have to lie or distort the truth. They will blame you for everything. They will make you feel like you're not good enough. Because deep down that's exactly how they feel. But they don't want to reflect on it because it threatens their false self. So they have to see themselves as being perfect. They have to see it as though they didn't do anything wrong. Even if it was their fault. They cannot hold themselves accountable because then that would mean that their false self isn't real. Accountability is like death to a narcissist, but it is also the only thing that will make them change. Which is why there is no record of a narcissist changing their ways, because they wouldn't know where to start. 
they would probably go insane or end up suicidal because they can't deal with the shame. They can't deal with the idea that they messed up. So instead they blame you. They project their insecurities onto you. They shift the blame onto you. And then they smear your name to get everyone to see you in the same way. To get everyone to validate the illusion. So that they can feel like they're okay. Because they don't care about the truth. They run from reality. Which is how they abandoned who they really were and created a false self. If they abandon their true self, it should reveal to you that you don't have a chance. Because they will abandon you too, if you dare to confront or expose them. Their false self is all they have left, so they will do whatever it takes to defend it, even if that means lying or distorting the truth. They have to do that because their false self isn't real. So anything that is real threatens their false self. which includes you. Your authenticity is a threat to the narcissist. It threatens to expose them. Which is why that is one of the first things they will target. They will target your credibility. They will target your quality of being trusted and believed in. They will say that you're crazy. They will call you a liar. because they know that's what they're doing but they don't want to own it they will disown any parts of themselves that they don't like and then they will assign those traits to you they see things in black and white where a person is either all good or all bad and for them to see themselves as all good you have to be seen as all bad. And they have to get everyone to see you the same way. To validate the illusion. To reflect back to themselves that they're okay. To reflect back to themselves that they haven't done anything wrong. They're very delusional people who are constantly on the run from reality. Which is why they all have some form of addiction. They're constantly engaged in escapism because reality is too painful for them to deal with. Which is why they abandoned their true identity a long time ago and created a false self. Because they just couldn't hack reality. They didn't have the qualities needed to cope with certain situations because they're emotionally underdeveloped. They experienced trauma in childhood, which stunted their emotional growth. But rather than accepting this reality, they chose to create a false character who is mature and responsible, which they display to the outside world. But when you get to know them, you realize that they're very different. They're very immature. They're very irresponsible. They don't want to take responsibility for anything. They hold you accountable for things. 
that they should be attending to. Because they just don't want to deal with anything. They're very lazy and unproductive with anything that doesn't serve them. Yet they want to portray this image of them being so capable and efficient. But for them to portray this image, they need to have someone who they can blame for when things go wrong. Which is why when you first met them, you may remember that they blamed their exes or their family. They always had something bad to say about someone. Whether it was a waiter at a restaurant or their boss, they always made it seem like someone was doing them wrong and they were the cause of some unfavorable situation. Narcissists never take responsibility for where they are in life. And that is why they always stay the same. Because they're always blaming other people. Instead of looking at themselves and recognizing what they're doing. Accountability is the key to success. And that is why these people remain stuck. That is why they're never going to change. Because they can't look at their own actions, which got them to where they are now. Instead, they choose to blame everyone else. So although they may think in their distorted minds that they are winning by blaming you, it's just stunting their growth even more. It's what keeps them stuck at the emotional development of a two-year-old child. It's what causes their endless temper tantrums to persist. Because they just can't accept that they're just like everyone else. They can't accept that they make mistakes. They can't accept their flaws. They can't be vulnerable. But this is something that all narcissists will do at the end of a relationship. They will always blame you. They will exaggerate your faults and mistakes and they will minimize their own. They will lie and distort the truth. And it may seem like they're running from the relationship, but they're actually just running from themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coached inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.